Good morning, Eric Wanderboom here. Another uh, beautiful morning in Colorado here. Um, getting ready to get started and look who's watching. Look at Finn, there he is. Tails wagging. He's, he's ready for us. So this is where we're at here again, working on Gina's bus. Got another week or so to go to finish up. My little helper ready to ready to go. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Right next to the golf course here in Leadville, Colorado. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh yes, hello. Good morning. But All right, so getting a little bit of rain delay action going here, uh, but we got a bright sunny day and it's supposed to stay sunny all day today. So um, having to rearrange the wiring some here and uh, got this monster battery with, uh, um, I want to put more of the half inch foam and the uh, more of the subfloor down over the rest of this area here. Um, we've decided the way that things were all wired, we're not gonna bother trying to move the battery just gonna leave room for it. Um, the way that I'm gonna do this, the back section all here will be permanent, the cover, you know, the, the top area, but then this section here is gonna be able to do slide out uh, 15 inches and then uh, 30 inches so that it basically becomes the 60 by 80 queen size bed. All right, well, tried an experiment here. We uh, were a little low on materials, so I had uh, <clears throat> some solid pieces of uh, birch and a few solid pieces of pine, and I had a bunch of miscellaneous plywood, and the plywood's just not working with the uh, Craig jig uh, joints. The plywood's just too soft and uh, is breaking up, so I had to pick up, picked up some fresh uh, new pine to redo these. So I'm gonna replace these, the ones that are plywood here quick with the actual solid material. So uh, it ought to hold everything together a lot better and uh, make the job a lot easier. All right guys, well, almost got the bed finished up. A uh, Couple things to keep in mind. Again, I did these uh, inch and a half slats, tried to leave about an eighth inch or more, 3 16 between them. Uh, make sure things are all very square and very even because if they're not you get things bind up on you um, I added the uh, Slats or these ones across Underneath here and I beveled them, but uh, With the you know some of these pieces are a little bit Angled downward or one way or the other so I'm still bumping into them as I go So I have an idea for how I'm gonna deal with that so that this will slide in more consistently and uh let's see what show you what i got in mind so yeah as i mentioned i switched over about three quarters or half of these pieces that were plywood to solid pine pieces here and uh, again what i'm going to do is i'm going to sand off or bevel an edge kind of down on all of these and on the corners so that it's uh easier to uh slide in and out so, Yeah. 